Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and please consider subscribing. Okay, I got some packages from Amazon. Um, I believe these are the last packages from Amazon that I'm waiting for. Well, that's a lie. I have one more package that's coming and that's those glue syringes that I got. So when those come, I'll include them in another unboxing video because I still have other products and stuff I'm waiting for from other um, companies to come. But these packages, they came last night. So um, I'm going to open them now. Okay, this is the first package. I thought I opened all of the packages, <clears throat> so I didn't have to do this part right here, but I didn't open this one. Um, I have to actually go to the post office today because I ordered stuff from Zule, but it requires a signature. Um, I guess because of the amount of stuff that I ordered from her, I don't know, because I've ordered from her before and I didn't have to have a signature, even, even with all of the tips and stuff, so... I don't know, but I missed the delivery. Well, honestly, I didn't miss the delivery. I was downstairs uh, literally all day yesterday. Nobody knocked on this door. I was waiting for um, the delivery and the postman, she didn't even knock on the door. She just put the slip in my mailbox along with the other stuff that I had got, but it's fine. So now I have to drive down to the post office and pick up the package myself. Okay, these, okay, I ordered more than one pack of these, but um, it's only one inside of here, but I got these because, let me show y'all something, y'all see these rings right here, like, okay, I ordered, like, I mean, a huge bulk of these swatch sticks, and the amount of swatch sticks that they put in the package is it's way more than can fit on the amount of rings that they uh, included in the packaging. Like, it's just, I had no choice but to buy other rings. So, I thought I wanted to buy rings that were way bigger than this so I could fit way more of these on and not have to be limited by um, the amount of, you know, swatch sticks that I can have on there because the package... Um, comes with each each package comes with a ring but it's so much of these in each package that it's no way they can all fit on here so I said I need to get some bigger rings and I need to get some additional rings because I'm going to end up being left with nothing but swatch sticks and nothing to put them on so I purchased these um, they're way bigger as you can see so I'm going to probably be um, switching out uh, the rings that I, well, I don't know. I think that what I would do is put all of my polishes on one ring because I feel like it can fit on one ring. And then I don't know if all of my acrylics, I have so many acrylics, y'all. I, I don't know if all of the acrylics this can fit on one ring, but I'm definitely going to try because then I won't be sitting here with mounds and mounds of these, you know, a whole bunch of these rings. But it fits on um here as you can see without a problem um the size of these rings are 3.5 inch um loose leaf binder rings that's what they call and they came in a set of six i think i ordered like three of these um i was not sure how big they were going to be they just look so small on the little um Amazon picture, so I just got a whole bunch of them just to be on the safe side. But I'm glad that I can put the swatch sticks on there. So that's what was in that first bag. I'm glad those came because I really need those. Okay, um, the next package, I already cut these open so I can just, yeah. Okay, see, here's the rest of them. <clears throat> they didn't put them all in the same package. Why? I don't know. I feel like that would have saved on packing material, but they put them in two separate orders, but this is them. 
Okay, the next package. I didn't. I don't have a lot of packages up on here uh, for Amazon today. Let's see. What is this? Okay. What in the world? They even had paper and everything up in here, y'all. Okay. These were the um, stampers that I had told you guys yesterday in my last video that I had gotten. And I got some more of these. Now, I've had these um <laughs> for years not these ones right here but i've had this product for years um and i've never had to use it i've never had to use it but um i threw them out because i didn't know whether they were any good anymore and i just repurchased these so that i have you know they're fresh they're up to date um and basically what this is is lit is liquid styptic and this is what you would use if you accidentally cut a client. Honestly, I've cut a client before. I've even had a video that I did where the file cut her um, on accident because I did not season the file. I was moving so fast and didn't even remember to do that. And it ended up cutting my client. And I just, um, <clears throat> you know, applied pressure with one of these right here. And some, um, what is it called? It's for cuts and stuff. I forgot what it's called. And that was that. And it stopped the bleeding. I didn't even reach for any of this. I didn't even think about any of this. But um, <clears throat> I honestly think that I had already thrown these out. So I didn't even have them anyway. But that's why I repurchased these. Um, I bought a set of them. So this is a three-piece set. So that's what that is. And these right here are the stampers. Now... Um, I'm kind of, I don't want to say disappointed in this, but on the, um, you know, the pictures and stuff, this looked like it was way larger than this. And that's what made me get it. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I guess it is fine. It will get the job done. It's clear. I can see through to where I'm stamping at on the nail. So it's fine. I've actually, I actually bought from this brand before. Well, what was it? It had to do, it was something that had to do with stamping, but <laughs> it was so long ago, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I do not stamp like that. That's why I'm trying to buy all of the stuff so that I can use them because I was going in, you know, one of my drawers and I was like, my gosh, all of this stuff in this drawer is dedicated for stamping stuff and I never use it. So I'm going to try to incorporate more stamping into my nail designs instead of you know hand drawn hand painting every single thing because literally that's what i do okay these are the other uh little flowers that i had gotten you guys know i had got another set and they were white and pink and i think another color i don't know but um this is what they are i told you guys i had got these in a different in other colors so this is what they are um, I wasn't sh too sure how big this was. I thought it was going to be small like this, which is why I bought two of them. So, yeah, that's what these are. That's what these are. Comment down below if you guys ever use these, these sticks and stuff like this that comes with the pack. I, I never use them. I don't even think they even work like that. I don't even know what this is. It just looked like some kind of... It is some kind of other pencil, like it does. It's not a wax stick. I can tell because when I just drew on this little table towel, it it allowed me to write. <laughs> it allowed me to write, y'all. So it's some kind of. It's another kind of. It looks like it's just a colored pencil, but comment down below if you guys actually use those things when they come in packaging. I don't. I don't. I use these right here um for bling as well as um i have a crystal cantana but i don't use it much because the tip of it is just worn down so much i need to buy a replacement for it but i have not done that yet and that's why i don't use that and i also have you know the other ones that come inside of the little bling kits or whatnot those little off-branded ones i have those too but 
I don't really fool with them like that. I found it easier for me just to use these, which is why I've been using those lately. Okay, the last, um, actually, uh, the very big box that you guys will see on the thumbnail, those were all shop towels. Like, I opened that box because I want to make sure that they put the amount in there that I purchased, and they did. I already didn't store those away. Because I didn't want those big boxes sitting out in the store. I mean, not in the store, but in the middle of the floor. Um, but it was basically just, you know, the shop towels. You know, the ones that you that you see me use when I wipe um, my acrylic on. That's what I use. Um, they're white. They're just as thick as the blue ones, but except they're white. And they're actually by the same brand that makes the blue ones. The reason why I got the white is because when it comes to swatching out, you know, certain colors, well, all colors, period, you know, um, I wanted to have the true color that I'm swatching out to see, like, the tones and how they vibe together if i'm trying to you know come up with a set you know right there with a client they want to see the colors you can't really tell what the colors really look like entirely because it's on a blue background so i went out and did research and found that they actually have the towels in white so those are what i buy they're exactly the same as the blue ones they're just as thick it's the same the only difference is the color so now i'm able to still use those with my acrylic and not only that but it's white they're white and i get the true color payoff from whatever i put on them and that's important so those i have already been put away okay you guys so I've been telling you guys um, in my last uh, few videos that I was introducing a new system for my clients, which is the Gel X type of system. But I told you I was not using, um, you know, the Apray system or the Gel X system. I told you I was using a different one. So the system that I'm going to be using is from Max, um, from Exclusive Nail Couture. Okay. His packaging is always nice, okay? So, let's open this box. This is actually the last box that I have here today. So, let me open this up. Uh, okay, as you guys can see, the packaging is very nice. Okay, let me see what's on this invoice. Um, uh, I think, well, they don't have the total on here. I was going to tell you guys what the total I spent, but anyways. Okay, so the tips that I got, these are, um, his 123 Go Soft Gel Nail Extensions. Um, and this shape right here is the Long Sculpture Square. So, this is what I got. I got a few of his tips okay so this is what they look like they are thin um they don't really bend bend but they'll bend and that's what i was worried about you guys but i got a solution for that um i bought some rubber base or whatnot gel that is that I plan on applying to these I have tinted ones and I have clear ones they haven't arrived yet but when they do as you know I'm going to show you guys um, and I plan on applying that over the tips just to give them more um, you know some more body to them some more thickness to them so that they have that um, you know that security because to me these nails are just as thin as you know some of the plastic nails that you would buy and i don't feel comfortable i mean i'm i know that you can wear them just as they are like this but i personally don't feel comfortable putting them on a client just like this and then letting them go i feel like i need to add some extra thickness to these nails so that i can be sure that they're going to last and they're not going to break they're not going to have any kind of problems like that so oh, that's what i plan to do is put these on apply the that um rubber base to them 
as well as um, you know designing everything else and that's going to give it some more thickness to it where I would feel okay with a client walking out the door uh, you know with those nails on I'm pretty sure they're not a problem or whatnot but just just me personally that's what I plan on doing because I want them to last last and I want them to be you know cuz look at that that's uh-uh when you have acrylic nails they don't bend like this even gel nails they don't build bend like that and that is the problem these right here are made out of 100% gel all of these tips so this this is gel okay these tips right here are the long sculpture st stiletto is the ones that I just showed you guys now I didn't get any of the colored ones like I, I just didn't know how those was gonna look or whatnot so I just didn't even bother with them I just didn't even bother with them so I didn't get them okay so these ones are the long sculpture coffin I'm gonna pull one out so y'all can see and the good thing about um, this brand which is uh, the reason why I chose this brand is because they offer those extreme you know length tips like the 3xl um, as well as the they have he even have a 4 and a 5xl you know so I felt I could give clients that length if that's what they want and still do it in a gel like this so that right there alone is the reason why I chose this brand over the other ones because they're not long max hands down he has the longest uh the longest tips that are made like this hands down I have not seen anybody else with any kind of tips that are like this that have the length that his offer I, I've seen people do reviews on his and compare the size to all of the other brands that's out there that make the same kind of tips as he do that are you know fully gel and hands down max is killing the game okay he is killing the game when it comes to these tips I'm telling you guys so that's why I chose this brand over all of the other ones okay the next tips that I got these are the sculpture almond medium tips so let's break them out that one is really small let me see if i can find a larger one okay so you guys can really see what they look like okay so this is put it back what these look like you see okay so let me put that back in there um I really can't wait to try these out <laughs> I can't wait to try these out okay so that's what I got with those um, and these are the long sculpture coffin I think I bought two of the same kind these are the stiletto those are the square these are yeah, I bought two of these. The Long Sculpture Coffin, I already showed you guys these. So I got two of those because Coffin and the Square, you know, the Tapered Square look, those are what's popular now. So I made sure that I got two of those. Okay, and the last thing in the box is their Bubblegum Gel. I got it in clear. It comes in another color, um, which is like a, a pink kind of a uh, color a peachy pink kind of okay this is bad the uh product is leaking out so oh gosh y'all i'm scared to open this to see oh man i honestly thought it was going to have like some kind of covering on the inside of this but it doesn't um yeah so actually this okay they did not do too well with this packaging because they literally filled this and it looked like it spilled all on the side around it as y'all can see and nobody even took the time to even wipe that off as y'all can see nobody so I don't know about that it 
does it, it has a smell to it but i don't really know how to describe that let me make sure that they gave me the right uh pot size because i ordered the um the largest size that they have and i don't see the uh the sizing on here this kind of look i don't know if this is just i don't know this kind of looks small to me this kind of looks small to me but anyways um what you're supposed to be able to do with this is um darn i don't have nothing to scoop anything out with i wanted to scoop uh you guys i don't know what to do i'm gonna just scoop just a little bit um okay so this right here is the gel that they use to actually apply um these tips to what you're supposed to do is scoop out enough roll it into your hand this obviously is not enough i just didn't want to you know get a whole you know big large amount um it doesn't really stick to your hands really and you're supposed to uh put it onto the nail not this way the way that i see him do it is he attach it to the back of this nail and then he you know glides it and presses it on there and then he gives it a three second cure with the light and then he puts it into the regular light now this gel is supposed to hold its um it's supposed to hold the the uh tip down you know like how when you use thinner glues and you try to do this if you release the pressure on it it's going to lift up and you can get an air bubble this does not do that these right here let me see if i can find a really small uh i didn't want to waste any of these so i'm not going to do that um but i can use some of these tips right here these are plastic tips that i'm using right here okay so basically what they what he does is and then he presses it down and make sure that it's all the way pressed down and it's supposed to stay now this didn't stay because i know i don't have enough product on here it's not enough um and then he glues it like that down like that and it stays it doesn't lift up it doesn't get any air bubbles or anything like that and then you cure it and then you move on to the next now he says that um uh, you can do all five, ten fingers with, you know, just pressing down before even happen to do the cure and then just put them all inside of the lamp. So I'm going to try it out. I don't know whether I'm going to do it on myself or if I'll do it on someone else. Probably I'll do it on myself because I want to see how the product really wears. And, you know, you don't want to try something for the first time on a client that you don't know how to, you know, you don't know how to use it that well. You don't want any problems. If you have any problems, you want the problems to happen to you. <laughs> so you can uh, troubleshoot and figure out how to fix that before you start putting it on a client that's paying you. So that's what I plan to do is, you know, try it out, put them on, wear them and see, you know, what, what it's like. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. And this was the last uh, package that I had to unbox for today. I am expecting other packages today. Um, if they come in during the day, um, well, it all depends um, because you know clients and everything like that. If I have the time um, today and like in between clients or whatever, I'll do another video and um, post it depending on what else comes today. I know I have deliveries coming today. I have one delivery that is coming today that I am just so, <laughs> y'all, I'm just so excited to get. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, but I'm going to do an unboxing video for that. And I'm going to compare that item with some of the other items that I have similar to that. Oh, I just can't wait till it gets here. So what I'm about to do now is 
go to the post office and see if I'm even able to pick that package up now. I might have to wait until later on in the day because I don't know if they're going to try to do a second attempt delivery. I don't know, but I really need my stuff. <laughs> I really wish somebody had a knock on this door because I was literally waiting for it to come, but the mailman didn't do it. She just went to the mailbox and put the slip in there, but it's fine. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today with this video. Um, if you haven't already done so, like the video and subscribe if you have not already done so and help us to grow. Um, share the video as well as hit that bell so that you can be notified when I upload other videos like this as well as nail videos. Comment down below, are y'all ready for another nail video? Because literally the videos that I've been posting for the last couple of days have just been unboxing videos. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna take a break with the unboxing videos as soon as all of this stuff that I've, you know, gotten that I wanna show you guys come comes in, then I'm gonna get back to the nail. So. I don't bore you guys with all of the stuff. <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.